crafty friends it's emily and i am back with some 49 in market and dina wakely collage sheets and today i'm going to be kind of transforming making our own background with these collage sheets um so i have some mod podge here and then these are the 49 in market um lat from the lavender color swatch and they're really beautiful you get all these different designs and colors and they're not all lavender which i thought was nice there's some different um in different colors and whatnot in there and even black and white and then these are the dina wakely ones and they're a lot more transparent like tissue paper and the 49 and market ones are a little bit of a thicker paper so i'm just going to go through i have a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and i'm just putting the mod podge down on my paper and then putting my collage sheet down and i'm just tearing up bits and pieces because i want to kind of make my own like different pattern type of background um, you could definitely use these collage sheets on their own but they're not very uh, thick so I decided I wanted to kind of just piece them together and I've seen this technique done before by some of my crafty friends and it's just so fun um, and I wanted to try it out so here I have the Dina Wakely um, tissue collage collage paper but it's very similar to tissue paper because it's kind of see-through so I really like that you can kind of see the purple um, and the different colors underneath and um, once you layer it on top so the 49 and market is more of a thicker paper it uh just has a little bit more density to it it's not super super thick like you would find like a normal cardstock but um, it's great for this kind of fun technique and if you do any art journaling or mixed media it's these are some great supplies for that so here i'm just going through the whole the whole sheet of paper and i'm just kind of mixing and matching um, whichever whatever pieces that i like that i've either used before or i'm not have not used before like this one with the birds on it i have used before um, and this does require a little bit of layering which i feel is always hard for me because i never want to cover up some of the pretty stuff that um, that i enjoy like the, the bird tissue paper or collage paper and um but that's how you get you know it's just some really beautiful design and pattern and I also didn't want too too much thickness also because I wanted to end up die cut cutting this out and I didn't want it to be so thick that it wouldn't cut through um so too many layers of the 49 market would have made it a little bit hard to cut um and I did in the middle here it is a little bit thicker but I think it turns out really wonderfully. So I'm just putting that Mod Podge all over underneath and on top um, and just kind of adding bits and pieces where I see fit. You can just do whatever you like with this, whatever looks good to you. So now I'm just gonna set this aside to dry and I'm gonna work on the actual my actual card that I wanna make. So I have this, this is actually from our Valentine's Day cutout that you make the world a better place. And these are some, uh, laser cut sheets from my 49 and market from the lavender swatch so i just have a piece of a2 paper from our a2 card base paper pack and i'm folding it in half i just have the white and i decided i'm just going to try to work on the inside while i'm waiting for that uh paper to dry i definitely want to use that for the outside of my card and so this is just the those laser cut elements like i was talking about before i had some already um taken out of there but i wanted to take out a couple more so this one says it's a beautiful life and i feel like that'll go really nicely with the other saying that i'm using that's from our free download the uh, valentine slash love saying so you can grab those today and everything that i'm using here i'm going to be linking below for you in my youtube description so don't forget to uh subscribe if you like to see more card making techniques like this and like the video for me if you if you enjoy so here i'm just kind of figuring out i don't want to keep this plain white but i don't want to necessarily mod podge uh this part down because i don't want it to get too much of a warp on my actual card stock for my card paper so i'm just using a little bit of tape from scrapbook adhesives by 3l and that just makes it really simple for me to mix and match what I want to do for the inside. Um, and the reason I used the Mod Podge on my actual uh, collage that I was making for the front of my card is so that they would all stick together so that once I do die cut it out, um, it's not going to fall apart. So here, though, we can kind of just glue on or tape on different elements and piece them together. So I really like this. It's a beautiful life on that backing. Um, and then here's some more 
more of those collage sheets. So I really like this darker purple, um, lavender, I should say, and um, purple is my favorite color. So just, you know, if you have paper, any type of paper really that you have, um or scraps this is a great way to use your scraps is to do sort of like a collage and then you can kind of um, rip and tear like this like the inside or you could make a collage like I'm doing with the front of our card um but these collage sheets are great just because of the thickness of them and this is what they're kind of made to do is the with the layering and everything so now I'm just going to glue my saying, my sentiment that I really like here that was on that laser cut sheet. It's a beautiful life onto that backing. And then I really like this flower in here. Um, I'm just going to kind of add a few elements to build the inside of my card. And then that's actually a piece of greenery. I cut off that original flower I'm going to put on the right side to kind of frame my sentiment. And so I decided to put my flower on with some foam to give it a little bit of lift. And I have some regular dots and then I have some of the micro squares that I really love um, that get those smaller itty bitty pieces where the stem is. Um, so here I'm just going to place that down gently. It looks great. Uh, perfect. And then I'm going to glue down my other branch over here and I really like the contrast of the green against the purple. I think that is such a great element and um, really just kind of brightens it up because it is a little bit darker with all that dark purple and lavender. So here I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to place the inside of this and I'm probably going to have a couple butterflies to go with that pretty beautiful butterfly tissue paper. And I thought how funny this is that the tissue paper from Dina Wakely matches so wonderfully with that 49 and Market with all the butterflies. Um, and there is even like bird patterns that kind of went with just, I don't know, they kind of all go together. It's all very nature inspired and just really beautiful. So two different brands, but again, mix and match what you have at home. So here... I have a little bit of foam and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my flower there so that since my flower is already lifted and then place that down with the foam so it's a nice even lift on that. It's a beautiful life. So I'm just deciding what butterflies I want on my actual flower and then I really like this dark purple one down at the bottom to kind of pop against those black and white butterflies. So that looks awesome. I love that and I do want to cut out, um, this is the other part of that same purple collage that I used on the top so I just cut that out with our card sentiment dies the a2 liner and so it does have a little bit of a stitched edging um, and you can see that if you look a little bit closer um, and I'm just gonna glue that down and as you can tell I don't know if you can tell in the video but it's a lot thinner um, than regular cardstock but it still works so wonderfully and it's funny how it looks like really high quality and great just because it is 49 and market and their paper and everything is just such nice beautiful quality so here I'm just gluing on this is one from their laser cut elements as well and it looks like like a beautiful knot so I decided to glue that on the bottom there and then trim it off the edge where the purple ends and that looks great and then I also cut out that white liner from that's a Catherine Pooler die so you can write your sentiments down there and then there's another butterfly and that's the inside of our card and it does have a lot of dimension as you just saw I just wanted to show you that so here's our collage sheet this looks great so I think ideally um, you'd want to wait possibly overnight to even cut this um, so I just am a little impatient so <laughs> I'm just kind of doing this uh, almost in real time with you guys here so now I'm going to cut this through and hopefully it's dry enough but I just trimmed it right down the middle um, so it would fit through my die cutting machine and here I'm just going to take this off yep it came off fine and then let's see how the thickness does so just taking this off and it only got stuck here at this end and I just had to trim it because it was still a little bit wet and it was a little bit thicker right there but other than that it actually came out fine I ran it through my die cutting machine a couple times so I wanted to show you one of our smaller dies which works a little bit easier just because it is uh, smaller and look at how cool so it created this really neat pattern how nice is that isn't that cool um, so yeah we're just going to move on and put this on to the front card of our card base and this makes it so nice because we really don't have to do too much as far as decor because it's 
um, very well decorated with all those different patterns that we made. I also used cherry tape to adhere this on so it would be nice and straight with no warping. And then here's our beautiful saying, you make the world a better place. And look at this, doesn't this look like ribbon? I held this up in the video and I'm like, my goodness, this is the pipe, the cardstock still from 49 Market. So I'm going to add a couple of little design elements here. I really like this knotted ribbon and then this bow. How adorable. I mean, it looks like, like an actual satin ribbon, but that's just paper and I did it on the other edge as well. Adhered my saying, my sentiment down, which again is our free printables from our Love Valentine's Day sayings and some buttons and how cute. I feel like the front of this is done. So simple and look at that beautiful ribbon and our beautiful background that we created. And this just looks awesome. I love this, uh, our free sentiments that you can get. And then the inside is so beautiful with that beautiful impact of all that purple and the green as well. And so this is how you collage your own background. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to grab your free printables. Mm -hmm.